Good morning, developers. If you are new to the channel, my name is Rob, and on this CS Thursday video, we are going to talk about what a network packet is from the perspective of a developer. We're gonna shoot for about five minutes. Data's passing around the internet, like wildfire, right? From network to network, even right now, you are streaming a video to your device, and the data comes to your device in the form of packets. You surely have heard of that before, probably, if you found this video. And a, a network packet is made up of five layers. There's a seven layer model, you can search for that if you wanna see that. But they build on top of each other, so starting at the bottom is the physical layer. On top of the physical layer is the link, or more properly, data link. On top of link is the network layer. On top of the network layer is the transport layer. And at the very top, where we typically do most of our work as developers, is the application layer. So let's define each layer a little bit. The physical layer is going to be things like the actual cables. Okay, the, the, the literal cable that it has electricity going through it. Computers are just ones and zeros. They're not really ones and zeros. They're really just, is the electricity on or off? So the physical is easiest to think about as the cables. The link portion is gonna be easiest to think about like the ethernet card or the Wi-Fi card. It does have some protocols and that's how the rest of these uh, we're gonna talk about. But the link stands sort of in between the physical world and the digital world. Again, it's like an ethernet card or a Wi-Fi card. The network layer is going to be IP, which stands for internet protocol. Transport is going to be either UDP or TCP. You may have heard TCP IP together. That's that's the internet suite. At the top, the application layer, your good friend HTTP. There's also RTP, SMTP, and a whole bunch of others you can look up uh, at. But we will we'll talk through HTTP because that's what you are most likely to be familiar with. What's inside of each of these layers? How do the how do the packets and the layers actually work? I pulled up on the screen here a, a curl request that I have made to Google so that you can see what an HTTP request looks like. All layers have a header and the headers have key value pairs. And in the case of an HTTP request, you can see there a very common one will be content type. And the content type could be text slash HTML, it could be image slash PNG, etc. That's gonna be really important for whoever gets it on the other side so that they know how to handle what is below here the body, which is going to be, in this case, it is actual HTML. Back over to the board, we've got our application layer. Header, body, you saw what it looked like. What about the transport layer? Well, HTTP is built on top of TCP. It always is. The TCP will also have its own header, or transport layer, and that header, as opposed to content type, HTML, or whatever, it might be the source port. So what port did it come from? Maybe it also has the destination port. It will have like a, a sequence number because uh, TCP guarantees order, so it needs to know what order it is in the, the list of packets. That's the header. The body is going to be the entire application layer, okay? That's the body for transport. It's everything above that. We go to the next one, the header for the network layer is gonna be things like the destination IP address, the source IP address. It will also have a body, and that body will contain everything above it, or rather, the network contains transport, and transport already contains application, okay? You probably see where this is going, but we get to the link layer, it has a header, and the header for things like the, your ethernet card or Wi-Fi, it might be like a Mac, uh, address of the, the source machine as well as the destination machine. It has a body and the body is going to be everything above it. It will contain the entire network layer, which already contains the entire transport layer, which contains the entire application layer. The physical layer uh, on the, the bottom, I'll just I'll write in physical here. It technically, it doesn't really have header because it's just bits. It's ones and zeros. The early bits have specific positions and so on, but the physical layer will contain everything uh, above it as well. Okay, this is called encapsulation. It's kind of like nesting dolls where each layer has the one before it inside. When it gets across the wire to the other network, 
everything will unpack in reverse order where the physical layer only cares about its header. Again, it doesn't really have headers, but it will hand everything off to the link. The link will grab my header. I'm interested in, well, the MAC addresses. Okay, I don't care about the rest of this stuff. It'll give that to the network layer. The network says, oh, the destination IP, source IP, etc. I like that. I don't care about the rest of that. Gives it to the transport. Transport sees the, the port numbers, the sequence number, and then lastly hands the application layer off to whatever the appropriate thing on the operating system is, which in this case would be a browser. A helpful illustration I like to use is think about a network packet like ordering a package online. The application layer is the website. You go there, you find what you want, you pick what you want, and you've sent it off to, to the company. The transport is gonna be the company deciding how should we ship this. UDP is really fast, but not reliable, so maybe that's express mail, but it might get damaged. TCP is reliable, but a little bit slower. This is guaranteed delivery. The network or the IP portion is gonna be the, the company deciding what route do we take to get to your city the link portion will be how do we get from, okay, your city to your doorstep, and the physical portion is gonna be all the, the humans, trucks, the airplanes that are actually used to get all of this in place. It blows me away how simple and profound the internet is that these, these packets, these layers work together to get data to your machine. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.